Welcome everybody to part three of the video series um, where I will go ahead and clear these guys out because they're kind of annoying me. So the important thing for the stony field is going to be one simple thing. It is going to be getting to the underground passage as fast as possible while finding the stones and killing Rakanishu. Now I want to note that the stones are always going to be off of the path at some point. It's unfortunate that I already found them, um, but we can just pretend that I didn't find them and or that they don't even exist right here. But we'll go ahead and do them now and then I'll kind of show you my path as if I hadn't find them right here, found them right here. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to want to kill Rakanishu. Rakanishu is a very um, tough part of the game at this point because you are very weak and he can kill you uh, actually decently easy. Once again, he is worth a decent amount of experience though. So you want to kill him and his minions. It is decently important, I would say, to come back through um, and make sure that you kill off his minions as well. So let's pretend like I had not found um, Rakanishu and the stones right there. How would I run this? Well, they always have to be touching the path in a sort of way. And once again, any sort of boss group, I'm going to be killing along the way because that's just what you do with boss groups. So I'm going to be running along the path. I know that it can't be up here. There's not enough space right there. So at this point, I'm just kind of running along. I'm killing things that are um, boss groups. I'm picking up items that look interesting to me. And I'm moving on. So I got some stamina potions. I got that staff, which could have, be worth some money, whatnot. So at this point, there's no real locations that it could be, and now we're starting to get to locations. So over here, it's not going to be, because that's the stones won't be there, that's too tight of a space. So I'd probably end up running on this side. It's not in this area. I'm going to run back to the path, see where this wall kind of stops on either side, and whichever side it stops on, I'll want to kind of look on that side. So now we can look for the stones over here. There is the underground passage, and if I had not found the, found the stones yet, I would say I would run probably around like this and check over here and see if the stones were over on this side of the path. You know, they might be like tucked up right here instead of this being here. So you should somewhere find the stones either in that location, anywhere along the, the outside of the path, right? So you're always going to kind of want to run in that general sort of mindset. I also drop items I don't care about, such as a blue buckler. I just don't care about that at all. Once I am down here, I am going to, of course, skill as necessary. Um, and we can go ahead and include the underground passage uh, in this video, I suppose. Um, we are going to want to look for um, what is the fastest way out. And this is, once again, another, another video that I'll... Actually, we'll make this a separate video because this is going to be a very... Uh, intricate and difficult kind of piece to explain a little bit. So I will join you guys in the next part of the series. Alright guys, this is going to be the next part of the series. So the first thing to note is that there is one way to get uh, to move out of the underground passage and move towards the next section, right? Um, you can kind of break this up into a section of an entrance and that is very important to note. So I know that it's going to be this way because I see this wall, right? So in this point, I would just run like this, and I know that I can exit up that way and be fine. That being said, I want to show you what the section is that I am discussing, right? And every, and that's a boss group, I would probably want to kill that, but it is extra strong archers as well. I could tell by looking over the skeleton, right? Hovering over the boss, it showed me. So I just want to clear these guys so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is your section right here, right? This whole entire starting block is going to be your starting section. And out of this, there's going to be one exit. And you just have to kind of learn the maps to figure out which way it's going to go, right? Every There's, there's kind of a set number of these starting blocks. Um, so in this case, I know that it's going to be uh, coming up off of this way. So I will run this way. Now, important things to note with the Underground Passage. I want to try and stay more to the right. Because the general idea of how to get out, there's either the entrance to the cave level 2, or there is the exit 
to the dark wood. I want to find the dark wood. I don't care about the cave level two. The cave level two is going to be off to the left somewhere, which means my exit to the dark wood is either going to be straight or to the right and then straight this way. So it's, it's going to be somewhere over here or over here, or in a very rare case, it might be up and like under here with the cave over it, right? That's kind of a more of a rarity. Hopefully we don't draw that map, but you just might. So I'll kind of show you guys how I would think about going through this right here. I'm going to say I could either um, go up here, which I will. And I believe that this is probably going to break off to the left somewhere. And so I'm running up this way uh, and saying that I think it, that's going to break off to the left to the cave. And then I'm going to go either right or straight. Um, and that's actually good that I found that there. I want to show you guys that. Um, right or straight, right here. Uh, so I know right now that this goes no further. And the reason I know that is because there's the red fallens. So anytime there's a red fallen group, they are going to exist in a little block. And that block is going to be a dead end. So you always will know that. You always know that exists. So as soon as you get somewhere and you see a block like this with the red guys, you can immediately turn around and say, okay, I know that's not the way. I'm going to back out and I'm going to keep going straight, right? Very, very simple right there. Um, and so now I'm going to keep running straight. And like I said, I believe that this is going to lead me to the... Uh, exit for the dark wood and it'll probably be up and just around this block here maybe all right this is starting to go off a little bit right i don't know how much i enjoy this but it's taking us back up here okay and we will get to see this takes us straight and this is just the general path that i would have taken if i were to be looking for the dark wood exit and sure enough there's the dark wood exit so it's something that you just kind of have to get used to. Um, but that is, I can kind of explain my logic for why I ran it that way. Um, this right here, if it continues on straight, a lot of times it will continue on straight. It's possible it could go all the way over here and then up and be right there. That is a possibility. From experience, it tends to be along this straight line more like this. Now, the reason I thought it might have broken off there and then gone up, I thought I might just want to check that. It wasn't it with the dead end, so that was good to come back. And now I believe that this over here or this over here will take us left, and the cave is going to be somewhere in one of these areas, which is why when I got to this point right here, I decided I would run off to the right and then go up, kind of like I decided right here. I was going to run off to the right and then go up if it didn't take us or, so, you know, I ran the same sort of idea right there to kind of look for this underground passage. Because it tends to be straight or to the right, so you want to kind of figure that out and whatnot. And like I said, the cave is going to be uh, somewhere over here. Yeah, my timer is, my timer is not going to be good, right? I'm going to be all over the place with the timer, but that's because we're explaining things. So let's do this. And we can go find this cave right here so we can show you guys just, you know, this is a very standard layout for the, for the underground passage, by the way. So that's going to be a dead end, it looks like. So it looks like the cave is a little further. So I'm just filling up my, my uh, belt right there. Making sure I always have potions where I want them. And this should be the exit to the cave. There you go. So there's your cave level 2. So once again, your cave level 2 is going to be to the left. And you can note that there is a left block right here, right? Um, and your exit uh, to the underground passage is going to be straight and it can either be on a straight way or kind of going right and then up. So that, that kind of concludes underground passage and how I run it. Hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit and I'll see you guys in the dark wood for the next part of the video.